going. I can see that. Losing Nelson's team is a real blow. But the fact we're not the only visitors on this rock is even worse. They made it clear they want all humans dead. For all we know, they may be related to the forces that destroyed Earth and followed us here. Wonderful. I'll report this to Secretary Nagi, see if we can't bolster our defenses. Just one last thing. What the bloody hell is this dancing turnip doing here? He's actually a potato. T Tatsu not turnip or potato. For last time, Tatsu is not food. Now, on behalf of Planet Mira, Tatsu welcome all Earth people and offer a friendly treaty of friendship. Um, yeah. Right. Anyway, we were thinking he could be a good source of general intel about the planet. Exactly how useful that'll be remains to be seen. Oh, don't you worry about a thing. Friends totally safe now that Tatsu is in town. Tatsu watch over and protect friends. Especially weak, pathetic Lindley with her thin, bony wings. You mean my arms? Look who's talking. And who said anything about you coming with us? You can stay here, you greedy, annoying little cabbage. I'm sure there's a salad here that could use you. Meh, meh. Tatsu, stay here! F friends would leave Tatsu behind? It's for the best. You said yourself your people are endangered, and the Xenos that captured you might still be out there. You'll be safest here in the city. Mm, agreed. Tatsu got a beat! Friends will want Tatsu along. Friends need Tatsu along. So. What? Well, that, uh, th that, of course. This planet have many helpful Nopon that Tatsu can talk to. Other Nopon can share information for friends. Hmm, that might be useful. That right, that right. Most Nopon not like Tatsu. Nopon can be shy. Nopon can be difficult. Most Nopon never trust friends or even talk to friends. But Tatsu? No pun love Tatsu. The Tatsu use smooth talk and winning personality to get friends good info. Hmm, the tater tot has a point. Uh-huh, more like an ulterior motive if you ask me. Tatsu perish the thought. Tatsu intentions are pure, Linley. Pure as snow. Linley intimidated by Tatsu's strength and smarts, but do not worry, Tatsu is true friend. Strength and smarts, huh? That's really not what I'm worried about here. All right, then it's settled. Small Fry here will accompany you three out in the field. After all, we can use all the info we can get. Seriously? We have to babysit this thing? 
You're the ones who picked him up. Besides, would you really want to leave him with another team? Maybe not. Unless we were invited to the meal, I mean. See? Already getting along like peas and carrots. He can be your charge, Lynn. Oh, come on, Commander! That's not funny! I've got my hands full out there! This is so unfair. Back me up here, would you, Elma? I'm sure Elma has no objections. Right. As you say, Commander. Done and done. Welcome to Blade, Tater. We'll be counting on you. Yes, sir! And it's a Tatsu. Oh, one thing Tatsu forgot to mention. Nopon are pacifists, so friends need to defend Tatsu, keep extra super safe in any battle. Tatsu VIP diplomat, after all. Why am I not surprised? So much for him watching over and protecting us. So, Rook, feel like you're starting to get the hang of things? Of course you are. You've taken to it like a fish to water, just like Elma and the Commander said you would. Just the same, let's review the key points, and I can fill in some extra details. Blade's top priority right now is to secure missing pieces of the life hold. You remember that much. Countless people are frozen in the life hold. It's the key to restoring humanity. Up until we ran into the prone, our biggest concern was that wild indigents would stumble on the life hold and damage it somehow. But now there's a more pressing threat. Intelligent alien races who are intentionally trying to destroy us. So, our search has new urgency. We need to find and retrieve all of the life hold ASAP. And the best way to do that is by expanding the reach of Frontier Nav. The more probes we can install, the wider we can scan, and the faster we can find bits of the life hold. So our primary focus going forward should be to travel around Mira installing data probes. As many as we can, as fast as we can. I can't stress enough how important this is. You still with me? Good. Then let's move on to the other pressing threat that Blade has to deal with. Hostile indigens. There's no real delicate way to put this. Any wildlife that poses a clear threat must be eliminated. The life hold is our future, but we can't ignore the present. We still have our duty to keep New LA safe. And sometimes that duty requires enacting coordinated strikes to solve problems before they can do real harm. We're the newcomers here, it's true. And they're usually just out to defend their territory. But sometimes it really is them or us. And we have to make sure it's us. Don't get me wrong. It's not like we run out there and light up anything that moves. Only Blade HQ can choose targets. And they tend to keep them strictly to creatures that pose a significant threat to our survival. In order to contribute to this cause, operatives are asked to form into squads to take on special missions. These squad missions, as we call them, don't get posted to mission control like your other, more typical assignments. Rather, HQ transmits the details directly to all of us at the same time. Basically, 
They want as many people to know about them ASAP, so they can be taken care of ASAP. I'm sure you can imagine that these missions aren't your run-of-the-mill little fetch quests. It's not the kind of stuff just one or two blades could handle on their own. That's why squads can have as many as 32 members. And it's why we ask members to sign up to a squad beforehand. We can't have Blades playing musical chairs whenever this kind of emergency hits us. But just remember, squad missions are not mandatory. You don't have to drop everything you're doing just to take one off. HQ has no way of knowing what every Blade is up to when these missions arise. If you're busy with something else, they'll understand. They need to trust our collective judgment with these things, and, well, so far, so good. And I think that about covers the basics, right? Search for the missing pieces of the life link. Install data probes to expand Frontier Nav. And take on squad missions when you can to keep us safe. Got all that? Good. We're counting on you. And briefing adjourned. Thank God. All right. Well, it's getting pretty late, isn't it? Yeah. Let's call it a night. Oh, Tatsu's so excited to sleep in real bed. Lily can show Tatsu to his room now. Oh, your room is right over there. Oh, it looks perfect size for Tatsu. Wait, what? Tatsu know what that is? That refrigerator. We'll go in there to cool off. <laughs> I guess you are smarter than you look. Well, Tatsu not want to brag, but. Uh, Wait a minute! Tatsu see what Lily did there! <laughs> <laughs>